go. Well, hello everyone. This is the space of uh, Become Music. This is a possibility team. Uh, my name is Jorge Pedret. I think it's the first time that I'm meeting both of you. I've, I've talked with Wout before and with Manuela before online and on the chat. And it has been, uh, it's the first time that I'm getting to meet you online and face to face. <sighs> and nice to meet you. Um, this space, yeah, is here for, it's a space that I, that I create, that I'm creating for uh, practicing on a weekly basis, regularly music and, and exploring the musical edges. Whatever music you want to practice, whatever your edge is at uh, in music, that this will be the space to, to practice that. And I want to open up this space for you guys to share a little bit of what brings you here and yeah, what is your necessity from this space? Uh, Ma Manuela, will you start? Okay, what is our what from this space? I didn't hear you acoustically. Yeah, so what brings you here and what is your necessity from, the, from this space? Okay. Um, what brings me here is um, I never planned to do music. Since five years, I'm always receiving lyrics in the night. It's weird. I don't know what to do with it. I just write it down. It comes with um, sounds like melody and harmony. Uh, yeah, melody. And I started little drumming to kind of catch it. Uh, right now I'm learning a little bit the piano. And I recorded a few songs. Um, I don't know what to do with it, but I want to explore more because I notice. And it gives me a lot of joy. And it's so exciting. Um, when it uh, just appears this creative creative process that's so uh, beautiful um and my necessity is really to connect with other people um yeah mm -hmm. to find out uh how else one can create together or so mm -hmm. thank you manuela yeah, you shared a little bit of your music, a few of your songs, and I, I got to hear them uh, la last week, and I'm looking forward to hearing more about your process and how, how it goes for you. And I want to say too that this is a space for feeling. This is a space really where where feelings are allowed. Like uh, any feeling that comes, uh, that we're here for for that to to express our feelings to whatever uh -huh. whatever it comes is. I'm, and I'm um, I feel a lot of joy to have made it here, and I feel a little bit of fear. Um, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that without has a problem with me. Um, I'm feeling fear. Uh, I mean, this sounds personal or so. I don't feel it personal, but um, um, I feel fear. I feel fear. Um, that I'm not kind of good enough for this space. Mm. Thank you for sharing that. Okay. And I, I just, uh, do you feel fear that 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 world may have a problem with you? Um, yeah, it's a, it's. A, what is it? Um. We we did we were going to do uh, I offered to do a, a process the other day. He didn't want to do that, and that's uh, fine. And. My feeling was that I'm a little bit like a projection, a projection space. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how to say this in um, possibility management terms. Okay, so it sounds like there's something that happened in a separate the space. Past. Something that yeah, happened like in the past, and now I'm a little bit afraid. Yes. Right. So you're scared uh-huh. that it might still be uh, lingering in the, in the space. Is there? Yeah. If there's, yes. That it might li- exactly that it might linger in the space. So I feel uh, uh, some kind of a fear and some kind of a joy. Uh, yeah. That's okay. how I feel right now. Okay. Yeah. yeah thank you. Thank you. Is there anything that, that you need about this? Anything that you need to, to say in the space? Anything that, that you need to say uh, uh, into the space about this? Um, I am not used to participating in uh, possibility management spaces. I'm not used to the language. I'm very... Uh, physical when i feel it's a very physical thing for me it's not easy to express myself and right that's it yeah i hear that i hear that okay thank you thank you Uh, what will you go next? Uh, what what brings you here and and your necessity from this space? Hmm. No, am I saying your name right? Is it Wood? No. <laughs> <laughs> you say Wow with a T. So Wow. Wow. Great. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm great to, sure. to know, yes, because I've been wondering all this time. Wow, wow, wow. All righty, thank you. Yeah, nice to meet you, Jorge. You look completely different than on your picture. Uh, surprised in a, uh, not in a necessary good or bad way, just surprised. Mm. And uh, also lovely to meet you, Manuela, and see you in real life. And uh, I have no hard feelings whatsoever, just so you know. Uh, um, completely cool and looking forward to have fun and joy with you today in this space. And uh, yeah, to check in, to answer your questions, um, I'd like to start to check in uh, with a sort of a body check in. I'm feeling um, it, it's double. I feel super relaxed and super present and calm. And at the same level, I'm being in this space with you guys, I'm feeling some tension, some uncomfortability, and I'm also like really just being with it, like letting it be and it's completely okay. But I think mentioning it is good to loosen it up a little bit. Uh, Then to answer your question, why am I here? What's my necessity? I, yeah, Um, for years in my, childhood I've had this idea like I something about the guitar like when I touched it or when I saw it I really loved how people are able to express themselves their souls and I felt a deep yearning inside me to be able to do that too and you know I by now I know the basic chords of how to play guitar but I'm not able to jam in a fluent free-flowing way where I feel I am really expressing my soul and this sounds beautiful which is what I want to get to. So I'm, I'm mostly, I know a few songs and I seem to be always playing the same kind of chords or same patterns and I want to break out of that and maybe learn new songs or learn how to jam. Um, apart from that, my second instrument is my voice. I really like to use my voice even more than the guitar. Um, and I'm learning and exploring also how to use it for healing like shamanically um and how to deepen it and come from the lower tones and 
yeah, during Qigong classes, I sometimes already have these shamanic chants coming through and I'm trying to figure out how to let them come through outside of the Qigong class because that's kind of my crutch, you know, when all my channels are open, I'm, if something flows through and I want to be able to do it also in other spaces that are made for, for music or expression, perhaps. Uh, and I want to learn how to play together. There's a lot of, I feel, unspoken rules between musicians yeah. that allows musicians to, sp to play together that I don't really know about. And I would love to, so I'm able to jam more easily with other people. Yeah. I'll keep it at that. Awesome. <laughs> thank you. Wow, thank you. Yeah, that's amazing. I think we're going to get to some of that today. Yeah, like we'll, we'll definitely get to, to, to that space today. <clears throat> um, okay, I want to I wanna start by... Uh, doing a centering centering process so this centering process is is kind of like when you tune when you tune your guitar this is the the very first thing when when you have your guitar or you have your your instrument like the first thing before you start playing is, is that you tune it same with the, the piano whatever instrument that you're playing is that you tune it so it's kind of in a similar way there is like some tension that we have from from the spaces where we come in and the tensions about like that, that is the first time that we're meeting here, first time that, that we're getting to see each other and talk to each other and actually be in this new space of called possibility team become music. So for me too, it's like, uh, it's an, an unfamiliar thing and and the, this is the first position of a musician of becoming music is this uh, centering process. That we're going to into centering ourselves into our being uh, that you bring uh, your your attention from wherever it is uh, i see that world is asking uh, Man manuela if you have more light that we can see you better you want more light do you, do you have more light that we can see you better <clears throat> Yeah, so I'll keep sharing about this. Thank you, Manuela, for the light. And it's like in martial arts, uh, you practice this first position thing. Uh, if you practice Aikido or Karate or, or Kung Fu, any of this, you practice this very basic stance that, that is your stance where you are in your power. And you might, you might already be doing this uh, in your natural way when you are playing, when you go into your different classes and you, into your different spaces that you go and center yourself in your being. So uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna gu guide us through so, some of this centering process, uh, some of to, to going into this first position. And there is gonna be, yeah, I'll just guide us through this because there is an experiment that we'll do inside of this with our voice, because this is a, a music and expression place. So it will be our body, uh, our energy, and, and there will also be our bringing in our voices together. And this will be part of the, the tuning, tuning together. And this, uh, there is a, in possibility management, there is a, this thing called first position, that is uh, your centering, your grounding, and your, uh, and your, your bubble of space, like the space around you. This is like the basic centering. So we're gonna go through that to that first and if you will the more you practice this the, the more you can be in a place of center in a space where you can like like really take up space where you can like take up space to 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 have your voice activated in the space and to to have uh, like your channel of communication coming from a place of your center that is your essence that is your your being your archetypal lineage your bright principles your your connection with gaia like all of, all of this uh, juiciness that that is inside of you so if you like to take a deep breath you can keep your eyes open or close however you like 
Uh, I prefer to keep my eyes open to stay in contact and see you guys. Take a deep breath. And find yourself. Gently find where your attention is. Gently find where your attention is, if it's in the past or if it's in the, in the future, something that happened in a few weeks ago or last, last week or last night or even earlier today. And you start noticing where your attention is. Perhaps it might be in the, in the future, in something that you're doing, a project, an idea. Mm. You just keep noticing, using your intention to notice where your attention is. Where is your attention and start noticing if it's in, some, in somebody, if it's in, in your mom and your dad, or if it's in your, in your partner or your children. And you start, start using your intention to, to start gathering where your attention is in your space, in your bubble, if it's behind you, in front of you. And gently start using your intention to start bringing your your attention and your energy to the here and now, to this very moment, to this space where we are. And start forming inside of, in front of you, like a, like a bowl, like a grapefruit, like a big grapefruit bowl. Start forming, you're using your, you're using your intention to really bring your, your attention. Your attention is your biggest resources and it can really be scattered like in, in so many different places. And the more you can bring it into this here and now, the more you, you can be present with where you are and what you are and with, with yourself. And when you, when you have your, your ball in front of you, uh, start bringing it uh, with, towards your center, your physical center. This is your energetic center, this, this ball that you have here right now. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your attention and your energy center into your physical center of your body. And you're gonna place it in just below the, the belly button. This is your physical center. The physical center of your body is located right under the belly button in between your hips. It's about a grapefruit size. This is your point of balance where your body balances. And your your energetic your your center is not in your mind. It's in really in your body. So putting your energetic center in your in your center of your body is inhabiting your body, fully inhabiting your body with your energetic center, with your energy, and so that you can be present in here. And there, there might be this might be there might be emotions that come from this. There might be feelings that come from this. Just allow the, the process to gently. You don't have to force anything. It doesn't have to be anything. You start keep noticing what's coming up for you. When you have your energetic center inhabiting your physical center of your body, this is your sensation of being centered in the in the space. Yeah, and if you have your, your book or your, your notebook and that you can make notes about what what's happening for you in this moment. Uh, this will be like a journal for this ma I feel uh, I feel a bit scared Manuela that, that there is something uh, that, that I, something's coming up for you. Will, will you share what's coming up for you before we keep going? Um, I felt I had to remove my pants a bit to yeah. make my space in the belly. I noticed it is kind of restricted. And the color came up and like a blank mind, like, like blank, really blank. Uh, as if I was getting bigger. Whatever I was, that center got bigger. Mm -hmm. It felt bigger. So. Yeah. 
Thank you for sharing. Yeah, and I'll yeah, I will see yes, that 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 we keep going on this, uh, and uh, these are valuable feelings that are coming up, or valuable, very very valuable uh, sensations that are coming in this process of centering. There, there, there might be a lot of feelings that come up uh, in this, and just to let, let them be alive. This is a space. And this is a practice that, that takes time and that it's really, really empowering to be in your center. So once you're in your center, once you find the best way to be in your center, in your place, is a, you use your clicker in your hands to declare a grounding cord from the center of your being to the center of Gaia. It's like really there is a grounding core that, that connects your being to, to the center of Gaia. And it's about this thick and it's a flexible cord and it has a certain color. It's a two-way communication cord. And you can attest this by trying to jump. If you try to jump, you 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 don't stay floating up in the air. You stay you come back right back in the ground because the earth is holding you and that's the attraction that how the earth is holding you and how you are stand we are all standing on, on her right now so at the count of three please share the the color of your grounding cord one two three yellow blue no. thank you you just feel that that connection with gaia she has so much to say to you and and she's there for any questions that you, that you want to ask her she's there and she's an inspiration and we can speak for her and let her let her be our bodies be a, a voice for her next we're gonna go into our the third the third exercise which is our bubble of space so use your clicker with your hands just like that and declare your bubble of space around you this is your magnetic field your what distinguishes you from from the rest of the world and yeah you can sense it with your hands you can feel it see where it where it's at how far is it uh, and if there is any holes in it and this is inside of it is your your energy your information what you are what you are thinking, your constructs, your personality, all of this is inside of you. And everything else outside of that is the, the rest of the world. And this is not a, a, a wall, this is not a separation, it's simply a distinction between you and everybody else and everything else. And that this is how you're connected to the world too. Uh, I'm gonna use my clicker as a space holder to create a, a golden cube of space around this this space that we're here right now for for creating this space of, of vulnerability and sharing uh, love happening music creativity inspiration and teamwork and if there is any any principles any values that you want to bring into the space you can speak them out loud now to this golden cube that is grounded to the earth. Fun and healing. Is it, was that song, quote? Fun or joy. Fun, okay, thanks. Gratitude. Right you say that again, Manuela? Um, I feel 
to break it in the city. Like, as if we had a touch to put the seat together, and I'm really looking forward to co create and explore uh, in a different way. Hmm. It, it's a bit hard to hear you, Manuela. I don't know because I yeah. hear that, like, it sounds like maybe it might be your microphone or something like that. Um, Shall I use the headphone? Okay. Can you hear yeah. me now? Yeah, I can hear you a little bit better now. <clears throat> well, thank you. Okay, so I want to jump into this next part. We'll do this for like about four or five minutes of bringing in our, our voices into the space together. Uh, because this is Zoom, it's a bit hard to, to coordinate the timing, but I, I think if we do, what I'm thinking of doing is mm, like a like a chant, something like a, like an OM, something like this. And, and we'll, we'll take about uh, one minute, uh, one minute per person, like we were, we're all gonna do it together. Uh, and the idea of this, this tuning is that one person is generating the sound and the other two people are mirroring the sound kind of like creating harmonic with the sound so if i'm doing for example this sound like ah then uh, the two of you will like bring in like your harmony on that level uh or, and however you want to participate you spring your your being into that 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 frequency it can be harmonic disharmonic whatever you want and and then we'll, after one minute, we'll go to the next person and the next person will like generate the sound and the other, the other two will uh, bring in their, their beings and then, then we'll complete that like a, like a triangle. Does that make, does that make sense? Okay. Cool. Uh, no, I'll start. I'm just going to set up a timer to, to keep it uh, fair. Yeah, I'll I'll start and then vote and then Manuela. No, I'll just I'll tell you. Let's see. It's the first time that I'm doing this. I, I thought of this and I, I I'm excited to do it. Uh, so here we go. Uh... That was one one minute. So now we switch to to what? Just make any any sound, any frequency, vibration, and we'll we'll just uh, be with you in there.
One minute. And then Manuela, would you go next? more seconds. There's a setting I could I was I I could I couldn't hear you I don't know if it was because you guys uh, if it was too quiet or if it's because Zoom cannot send like all of the sounds at the same time uh, 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 there is a setting in Zoom that is called uh, original sound for musicians do you guys know about this no uh, so I just want to do this quick experiment about this. If you can go to your audio settings and then in that window that comes up, let me know. Are you there, uh, Manuela? Yep. Uh, so there is a, in audio profile, it says there is an option that says Zoom Optimize Audio. And just below that, there is another option called Original Sound for Musicians. Yeah, could you activate that one? And you might have to like activate it and then, uh, so yeah, there is a two check boxes there. It says high fidelity music mode and echo cancellation. I have those two activated and the other one I don't have activated. Okay, so, and then you can close that window. And, what's that? I just check the middle echo cancellation. Yeah, and the, I have the high fidelity and the echo cancellation. Okay. Yeah. And then when you close a window on the top left of your Zoom meeting window, there should be an original sound for musicians. Oh. And does it say on or off? And you stop, tag, tag it to say on. You, you tap on it to say on. And uh, yeah, I wonder if this is gonna make any difference when when the three of us are making a sound and if it, if it sends uh, the sound all at the same time. So I just, I wanna check, man, is it on for you, Manuela? And for you, Walt? It's on, okay. Well, let's do this quick experiment then. Uh, will you try again, Manuela, with your sounds? Like you're springing your sounds and we'll be with there with you. It can be anything, anything that you want. This is your expression, your being. We can barely hear it.
Okay. It's a, it's a bit hard to tell. It's like there is still that, like, uh, like Zoom is picking on one channel and like sending only sounds from one channel, so it cuts off. It's a bit tricky. Oh, okay. Mm. Anyways. Okay, so the this next part where I wanna go into is uh, like a, a space to to learn to to work on a on a distinction to bring in a distinction to to the space, and I think what you you were you kind of like brought br brought it up uh, when you started mentioning about that you were able to to bring your kigon uh, when you were in the kigon class that you were able to to bring in your your voice. Uh, but then, like outside of that, like you want to explore more into that, and it's it's kind of connect it's connected with what I wanted to share with you in in this space now, and and it's about uh, this distinction the this distinction that more love happens when when you declare the the purpose of your communication and. When you declare your purpose of communication, more love happens, and this is this is the the distinction that I want to bring into the space. Uh, there is a spark about it that I, I wanted to read it, but I think it's a little bit too technical, and it, it, and and I just want to like speak from from the experience, uh, from my own experience, um, uh, like. Music is a form of communication uh, to me, uh, and I, I had this teacher that he said that, that we can make music anywhere. And like one of my biggest teacher of music, he said we can we can do music anywhere at any time. This is the power of music that you can like really bring in music at any anywhere. And and what I've been experimenting with is with creating these spaces where where music is uh, is received something like that where, where music is ready to be received and and this is the, the this part of like creating like speaking the purpose so that the, the, the love can happen through the music through the music that that's coming through. Uh, so I'm um, like, for example, in the Kiwon in the Kiwon class, or or in any class uh, where it has a space held, there is a there is a, a purpose that is is be, that is spoken to uh, before going into there. So it's like this like creation of context that that opens up the space for for the music to come through. The, like in a in a practical sense, like without like going into like the, you know, in a practical sense, it's like when when a musician uh, creates the stage, the, when he creates the stage, that's like declaring the purpose of his communication. Like I'm creating a stage and I'm inviting people, and also when when they come into the stage and they start uh, sharing a story, for example, before the song, uh, they start saying like, oh, this song came from. Because uh, I had a, a crush with somebody, and then I didn't have the words to say, and this song came from an, an inspiration that I had in, in the night time. Uh, so in this way, they're like they're stating the purpose of the communication, uh, be, uh, so that the the music has like it creates like this context for the the music. Um, And we will go, yeah. Like I think this could, they could this could connect into a, an experiment that we can do next, uh, where uh, each one of us will have a turn to to express our, our music or our sounds. And the, in this part, in this experiment, when when it's your turn to to express, there will be like somebody that, that the client who is uh, expressing. Uh, the music or the musician, and then there will be two two space holders uh, who will be listening. And in the uh, f 
as a as a client start noticing like what is it what do, what do you need to express to to bring your your voice into the space it could be words or it could be sounds or it could be like uh something that you need to say uh about what you're gonna like what you're gonna express like where is it coming from um and you start yeah like so it will be like a like this time for opening up and then for it's kind of like walking your way to to the world of music how do you go from this real the, the reality of verbal where you're talking and like it's kind of like this uh this space of ordinary and how do you walk your way to bringing in your vocal expression in the form of music uh, so we'll be doing that and, and we'll be taking take your time to to not go right away into the the musical expression like like black and white but to like kind of like walk walk your way there and see what's in between um, do you guys have any questions about this does this resonate for you this uh, communicating your purpose creates more uh, more love in the space needs a bit of an uh, uh, example, embodied example, or, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I can't hear you, Manuela. I'm asking, um, um, I have noticed when I get to share a song with somebody I know, I tend to make a little introduction, almost like an excuse. Mm -hmm. Why I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. For me, this is shame. So I have to make this little introduction. Um, with the music itself, the first songs are all about expressing anger and frustration. This is my only way, has been so far, my only way to express something that I have never dared to express. And with the music, it seems to be okay to do it. And what was that last part for, okay, for the music? For the music, it seems to, it seems to be okay for the gremlin or whatever to express that it's not that dangerous with the music. And also, it's helping me to get stronger into the feeling. The music makes uh, the feeling stronger. Mm -hmm. mm. Like a healing process, really. Mm. Yeah. So I, so I heard you say that that the, that before you go into the music, into your music expression, that you have this space where you share like why you're gonna sing, or, or, and you you. You related this with shame, that there is a, a part of it that's shame, that it's kind of like excuse, you, you said it. Yeah, and I think, yeah, we, I'm, that's, this is what I'm talking about. Um, and the, the other part that I hear you say is that, that for music, it's okay to just be expressed without, without that first part. Is that what you meant? Um. Yeah, so first it comes this little introduction, mm -hmm. like an excuse why I'm doing this, mm -hmm. or that I'm doing it at all, why I am uh, speaking out loud in a, in a way of a song, like super weird, mm -hmm. in my world. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then, um, it seems to be... Yeah, missing PM language here. 
it seems to be like a, a bone for the gremlin to chew on and be fine and I can still do it. Mm -hmm. And without the introduction, it's not that easy. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, what I'm hearing is that there is something about the introduction that, that makes it, that, create, that creates a bridge. Mm -hmm. Or a space. It creates a space, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just about this PM, PM language is, this is a PM space, but it's not like your language, like whatever you add, like however you have the, the words to describe it, that, that that's that's uh, how you bring your edge into this space. Right? You're, you're not expected to have any like particular language here or like have like a certain level of expertise. Um, like really you just want to know like how is it go for you and like what are the feelings and sensations that happen uh, for you in, in in those spaces uh, and you, yeah, you're, you're saying and you're doing it so thank you um, <clears throat> yeah so i i guess like now like this could give you this possibility this distinction can give you the possibility that instead of seeing it as something uh, shameful and something that is like an excuse or this like 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 bending your will is like like you're creating the space for your music to have a space to land i'm, I'm gonna make a i'm gonna I, I want to play this song that is from my heart and and uh and i don't know how it's gonna go and, and this is scary for me and something like that and, and you, you're creating the space uh, for the the song to have a like a place to to land, uh, and yeah, you you brought the, the gremlin distinction too, which to me I've been on on the research of uh, seeing when when I'm using using or creating music for feeding my gremlin or for kind of like for feeding my gremlin's agenda of avoiding responsibility, or when I'm using my music to. Yeah, so, okay, so on that, that first part, like, like I will use music uh, uh, to to kind of, like, avoid responsibility, to create distraction. I will, like, use it to distract myself, to uh, kind of, like, run away from, from my thoughts and my feelings. Uh, and I'm just saying, like, from my experience, like, this is, like, uh, how, how it goes for, for me, uh, how I've noticed in my research how my gremlin... Uh, loves to play music and loves to improvise and it also uses it to, to kind of like escape from the space and, and there is a, the, the, the other part is when when you're stating your purpose about what you are going to do you're stating your purpose of okay. go ahead yeah what well, we... you have a question yeah I was just wondering if we could Pause for a moment. Um, I feel like checking in with Manuela because I have a story that there's a lot cooking for you right now uh, on a sensation level or feeling level. And I'm, I have that story based on how I see your body moving and your eyes. And so I'm curious, would you share what's alive from you on, on this level? You want to know, right? You're asking how I'm feeling. Yeah, what, what's you cooking for you? Say again? Um, what's alive for you? What's happening for you right now? Like, how are you feeling? I am, in general, not just here, very afraid of not getting it not being attentive enough not being specific enough i have a story that it's a deeper fear this is like the the top layer that my intuition 
is telling me maybe there's something deeper and and it's like what's it like for you to be in a room with two men maybe something like this or what's it like for you to really start expressing your truth in feeling level or i don't know but ever since it's it's deeper than what's what you're sharing now okay. um listen, i'm not going to speak pm language i'm going to say it the way i speak okay um i feel tension um, i think sadness i can't yeah. explain but i think it, it has to do because i know that you guys are listening and you are observant and it kind of rips my heart open because mm. i'm not used to this mm. i'm used to hiding mm. and i don't have a problem crying right now it's very relieving thank you for asking go go manuela leaving and you feel you're not used to receiving attention from other people or, or men i'm very afraid of being too much or i'm not Can sure I... if it's men or the women i don't think i have such a gender uh, issue not that i'm aware of I, yeah i'd like to I'd like to pause and i also i hope um Jorge, it's, it's okay that we open this up a little bit because I feel it's, it's very alive. And yes. Manuela, I'd just yes, like to check. Yeah, would you like to open a little bit more to the sadness as big as it is? Just exploring. We have the time, please. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm super sad because I feel like I have kind of hidden all my life. Because? Because I have been hiding all my life. Mm. I've been hiding. Yeah. yeah. I, I have feel. Been waiting for somebody to say, do this, and then I do it to make sure the world doesn't collapse and it's my fault. I feel really called also to make eye contact with you, that you can feel and see that it's completely safe here and you're welcome just as you are. Yeah, thank you, Manuela, for bringing it. In the songs, the lyrics is all about, not all, but many of them, it's like, fucking shit, I'm so tired. Like, I can't even tell the truth. Everybody kind of puts the walls down when you say what's real. And, and people project stuff on you and, and all these things and I can't wait for I can't wait for people finding possibility management and doing 38 hours of E and peace. Yeah. It's kind of a bit hopeless. And that's my sadness. Yeah. Thank you, Manuela. <laughs> yeah, what you're bringing is so relevant. It's so, so relevant. And, and it's, your, it's your personal journey. And, and it's also like a collective, something collective. Like when you're bringing in this, this into the spaces, it's super relevant to the, the fears that, that we all have, to the, the anger and the, the, the frustration and the, yeah, this fear of getting it wrong, the fear of not, not, not doing it right or not, not having the right thing and of saying the wrong thing. The fear is uh, it's like really deep in, ter in terms of, I'm not sure if this has to do with this lifetime. I Did you say that again? I'm not sure if this has to do with this lifetime because it's like a, a life threatening fear and I don't give a shit uh, if I, uh, I should say, what people think of me and all these things. Mm. It's not really that I don't give a shit, but I know I'm not gonna die. And mm. um, the fear is more 
mm. very life threatening really like uh, it's not about looking good it's not about making money and surviving just uh, it's i think it's something really really old like something from an archetypal thing or something yes yeah i can sense that uh, uh, will you write this down in your notebook? Uh, will you write down this fear in your notebook? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the possibility is that, that you ask, ask for a space to be held about, about that, to, to explore that. Either in the music group, in the archaeological music group, or in the EHP research group. This is a big, big doorway, and it's awesome. It's, it'll be awesome for you to go through that doorway. Thank you. Yeah. I can't think. You said uh, write down archetype, but what I just I said archetype of fear or. Yeah, I heard it more like a like a past past life or or collective. Not just about me. It's fear. It's not just about me. There's I could really mess it up. Mm-hmm. That's the fear. Like not just my life. Yeah. yeah. I can really mess it up. Yeah. yeah, that would be the fear. And I, I also heard something like uh like if I express my truth I, I I will be killed. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. Be tortured. Be tortured. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. So the, those are the doorways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I would like to to switch into the next uh, into this ne- the experiment that we're talking about, and you can yeah these feelings like you can like you don't have to stop feeling that that you're feeling, Manuela. It's like like bring in these feelings and like keep rolling with it. You don't have to put yourself together. It's like you're, you're there. You think I don't have to put myself together? Yes. You don't have to package yourself up. You don't have to, like... What's that? It's interesting. You're using exactly the words that my mother used to <laughs> use all life long, like put yourself together. Mm. Or in German translated, it sounds like rip yourself apart. Mm. It's really ridiculous. I like to use those things in lyrics. Yeah, I, I, that's what I'm doing really. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I'd actually uh, would like to suggest if maybe we can take a deep breath together before we go to this next part. My heart is very impacted by these sharings. Uh, yeah. Can you say what the, the feeling is? What? Um, not really. I I could share what sensations are there. That's the closest I could get. I think. Um, Touched, um, little, I don't know, prickly is not the right word, but we are resonating maybe, like I could feel there's a sense of a wound. It doesn't feel like it's super big or something, but there's this what a wound would feel like um, and just very clearly feeling the impact of the shares and the energy landing in my heart also the relief when there's some release and just yeah fascination by like wow it's really really impacting me cool so you felt something from Manuela's share yeah and and also felt a lot of like 
care and um, how do I say like when you're being meticulous like careful I felt care and carefulness about like okay how is this opening for her and is it held in the right way and like how is this impacting me and my body and am I being held in the right way with all of this and like how is this been? yeah that was a lot cool thank you okay we have about 30 more minutes left and I want to go into an experiment with you guys I want to do this experiment and yeah what I was saying is um, Manuela you don't have to stop yourself from feeling like it's like these feelings just bring them to the space uh, for this experiment because they're very awesome they're very uh, relevant and the experiment is uh, what I was talking about before of uh, creating that uh, speaking for about one to two minutes uh, about the, the music that you're gonna create and then uh, having uh, and then having your music for like about three minutes uh, create a, you'll be uh, bringing your music for about three minutes so it'll be two minutes two minutes for creating the space like speaking the purpose of your music or opening up the space creating a space for your music to land and then uh, bringing in your music does that make sense Uh, so it will be like about five minutes each and then we'll leave like about one uh, like about yeah like three minutes to to share how it went for you or any noticings and, and transition time and and I could go first to to demonstrate kind of like like how it, how it could go because I don't know it's my first time doing this experiment also okay Hello, my name is Jorge Pedret, and I'm a vocal artist. I'm going to be using my voice in an improvised way to bring in the flow of music that happens through me. And this is not for your enjoyment, although you can enjoy it. This is not for you to like or dislike, although you can like it or dislike it. <laughs> and it's an experiment about what is possible uh, when we, when I speak from the unknown and sing from the unknown. I will be singing for about two to three minutes. And after that, I will stop. Okay, so that was about two minutes, a little bit less than two minutes, like a minute and a half.
So it goes something like that. <clears throat> uh, so uh, yeah, the next person will go yeah for about like five minutes, two minutes to open up with your uh, creating the context and landing the creating the space for you to, to bring your your sounds, and then uh, yeah like three minutes three minutes of bringing in your sounds and it. it doesn't have to sound anything like I just did. It just bring bring in your your essence, whatever whatever comes true for you. Are you ready? And who would like to go next? I like to go when it's super scary. It's not that super scary because I feel very safe with you guys. But when there's something I don't know how to do, I'd like to do it right away so I don't think too much of them. Um, so I open the space now, yes? It's already opening the space, isn't it? Well, um, you you will practice like this, like part of like what, what you called before, an excuse or this like uh, shame. You like bring it as a, like, as a conscious creation of the, the space. And I'll just, I'll keep time for you. My intention now is to share something with you which I don't know yet what it will be. I want to make an experiment. I want to empty out everything and see what comes out. That's my intention. And I am going in this with a curiosity. And whenever I can start, you tell me and I start. And uh, one more thing. I have a feeling something is working for me. I'm not doing it. Is that okay? Go. Thank uh -huh. 
One more minute. Time when you're ready, Manuela. Time. Thank you. How, how was that for you, Manuela? How was this experiment for you? From from your feelings, like don't go into your head. Don't go into your head, like like from your feelings, like how how did it go? Yeah. It was moving me like a weight. Compared with water, it was like strong weight coming. Um, and it's subtle weight, and all the way up and all the way down. It was just moving me. The thing was moving me. Mm. Yeah, that was amazing. Uh, because first, like you went up to try to save from your head, but then you went down, and and with your body, like it's like your your body was telling the story of what happened, and your body was saying, like really, like saying how it was, and I could get this sensation that that it was like it's like that it was moving you, uh, and it, it, I could really feel it. I could really be with you in, inside of that. That even if it's like this small, like your body was saying a lot, and I could be with you in, inside of that. That's you. May I ask you something? I have a question. Are you saying my body was saying something? Like, was it moving? Was my yeah, body just, moving or was it just the, not, um, the voice you heard? Just now, just now when, when you were, uh, when you went in, you went into your feelings, your places of feeling and you started like, like feeling like how it was for you or, uh, and, and, 
your body, the way that your body was moving, was communicating a lot in, in parallel with your voice. Like your voice was like saying something, but also your body was saying something. And I could feel it or, and be with you inside of that. I just want to say that I noticed that. Is there anything, any anything else from that? Uh, anything else that you want to share about that, or would would anything else that you want to share about that? Okay, let's switch. Let's switch to to would, and I, I'll, I'm putting the timer for five minutes. So. Mm, what I say, like, like use like two minutes to create the space, one to two minutes, and then the rest of the time to to bring in your music or your sounds. <clears throat> All right. When you're ready, I'll start the timer. Okay. So. What I'll do is I'll play the song of uh, Om Mani Padme Hum, it's a mantra, a healing mantra, and I'll play it on the guitar and I'll use it as an experiment for me to see what it's like to be playing music and to really be seen and be witnessed in my expression. Uh, I might at the end of it go into a little spontaneous jam to also see what that's like. So please, uh, yeah. Enjoy as much as you can.
30, 30 seconds, okay. <laughs> say more about that yeah it's i cannot really put it in the words i'm just sensing that there's so many different layers of dimensions and expressions that i'm touching like with the voice without the voice with a certain rhythm a certain volume a certain uh sound yeah certain feeling also like really trying to access the joy and in the beginning feeling like the stumbling and the like, oh my God, and the guitar is a bit mistuned and okay, I'm just going to keep going. And, and then also like, I could sense, I think because you guys were space holding, that there was a lot less this me going into my head or being shy, but just being like, oh, it's okay if it sounds bad. And then when I was there and I accepted it, then I could feel a lot more free to have fun and joy and try out things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I, I tried out as much as I could in five minutes time. So it's, it's using that time. Good, I think. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so some possibilities like for it's like that, that, that you would also use the, the other feeling. I hear you trying to like use the joy to play the music, but there, mm. there is like so much uh, like authenticity and contact with yourself when you're also playing from your fear and when you're mm. also playing from your anger. Uh, and when you're playing from your sadness, there is a whole genre of that. It's called the blues. And so like, yeah, like, like for you to explore like, and this is like the, this, the spaces here is for that, for kind of like like having this safe space where you can like go into these like feelings to to express your, your, your to have your expression come from from those feelings. Yeah, <clears throat> because the, yeah, there is a, there is authenticity in your in the joy, but it is not authentic if if you're blocking everything else. If you're blocking mm. your fear, if you're only wanting to have joy and only wanting to be like a happy, happy place, it, it's going to be uh, like uh, fake. Mm. It's not going to be like uh, uh, like authentically joy. It's going to be like a forced joy, like a, like the shell of joy, no, not, the, not the fullness of joy, which comes from with, with all the other feelings too. Mm. Yeah, oh. I wonder what uh, expressing fear on a guitar is like. I have no idea. Yeah, that that's a great question, and like to to be alive in that question and let that question like be you, be you with yourself in that question and like while you play the the guitar and and, and I even think that from a sensing like that it will increase your 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 ability like your skill to play the guitar. Yeah. I'd like to also add something or maybe pose an exploration is this like I really like to use my voice and I feel I can fill a space with it to some degree. Um, it just feels really out of alignment with my guitar playing and um, I wish I could find a way to bring those two together. I haven't really found, found it yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, an experiment that I could propose for that is, is the uh, kind of like that. Okay, that you, that you bring in. Let me just bring my guitar a moment. Yeah, and in general, if you have also feedback for the guitar playing, that would be really welcome. I've just been playing for a few months, so can still improve a lot. Yeah, I, I've been playing for 15 years, probably more, and like I, I'm still learning. Uh, 
so what I want to say is that that you as you play the the guitar uh that as you play the guitar you try to emulate the, the sounds with your voice uh sort of like like if i play that you practice this like kind of like like syncing in with the making the sounds and then you can like uh, go like this like da, 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 da. making the sound or like last all the way through so like playing between like breaking down the the voice in the different parts and also like making the voice like la and and uh, so yeah this like, this possibility is for you to like sync in your voice with the with the instrument and that i found that if you can do it with your voice you can do it with the instrument like it becomes more easy to do it with the instrument hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and the other part is that rhythms uh, take time to learn. They, it really that like what you're facing right now is like like probably like years of practice uh, to get okay. to really get to that point where you can like like sing and like what like go like go in in the same uh, like accompany with the guitar and it's an awesome journey. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, I'm noticing that we're right on time. Uh, do you guys have about five more minutes to close this up? Yeah. I I have ten more minutes, or at least I want to ask one more question. I don't know if there's space yeah. for it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. And like I'll say, like like have uh, five, five more minutes uh, for this. We'll aim for that. Okay. So the, the just okay. If if there's more, yeah. You, the, so the question is, um, when I'm playing with other people and I'm sort of put in a spot where I'm leading with the rhythm, um, I often feel I cannot really hold the pressure or the tension. Uh, or like, yeah, I, when I notice all the attention goes to me because I'm the one holding the rhythm, then I start getting shaky. I was wondering if you have something to say about that. Amazing. Yeah, this talks about the, the playing from your fear. Like you need that fear and that, that fear is going to be there because now now it's like you're the backbone and like things are you're the one holding the responsibility of the music and, and it, uh, in my research like I found it's a balance between like there is actually like a few aspects like there is like my I have to get it right uh, I have to do it right I have to like uh, I, I and then there's like this have to mind uh, and there is also like like no I, I know what the what it should sound like I know what it, I know what it's supposed to sound like, and 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 then like falling into that, like uh, like doing it from your authentic self. That it can even change. Like you might even like have the the responsibility to change the rhythm, and uh, other people might have to adapt to you to, to your new rhythm. So it depends on the the setting that you're playing. Uh, but what I find is that that you, that like build that muscle, build the rhythm muscle inside of you that you can like like do this simple thing just like one two three four one two three four one two three four one 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 and go this this one going into the one 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 uh rhythm is like you can like really be in the present moment with the rhythm that is playing let's say yeah you can like go in uh, you, you don't even have to understand the whole rhythm, but you can like feel it when when the four comes in, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, yeah, and yeah, like it's all, it's also about making a, all of the mistakes possible, make all of the mistake, mess it up, uh, like like fuck it up. You're gonna like like drop the beat, and you're gonna get confused. You're gonna get everybody else confused, and and it's also about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also like that's part of like the learning experience, uh, and that, that rhythm rhythm is an amazing uh, element of music, uh, and uh, like once you get it, like 
uh, like it's like about building the muscle of rhythm in in your whole body like you can like build it in your in in this finger this finger has this muscle of, uh, of rhythm your your throat has a muscle of rhythm your belly has a muscle of rhythm your arms your elbows your shoulders your your legs for people that play the drum uh, they all have like this muscle of rhythm so you have to like like for example when you're playing the guitar like that uh, like quick picking uh, each each finger has uh, like has to develop that that rhythm Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And kind of like like when when the music is coming from you, then uh, then you you kind of know like when when what is the expectation something like what is the expectation of the rhythm, and then you can play with that expectation. But it's a it's a pretty big question, and I think it's like this is just like a little bit of what I'm sharing in this like like two three minutes. Does that does that help, Walt? Great, yeah, thank you. Jam packed with value. Appreciate it. Manuela, anything else before we go? I want to share something quickly about the fear. Um, I have a neighbor who plays the guitar, and so he the guitar for some lyrics that I wrote now. And some day we go to this bar around the corner, which is called Agua Bar. It doesn't matter. It, 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 uh, they call this open mic. I've never been to something like this. And we just, uh, so tonight we're gonna, if, if there is space, we're gonna sing your song, okay? And then I was thinking, if I think about this, it scares the shit out of me. So my experiment will be, I'm not gonna think about it, I say yes, and then I do it. So we went there. And I, I and I decided I'm gonna take my fear with me, kind of thing. So I stood on this little stage. It scared the shit out of me. I'm not into that. I can't do this really. But I, it was an experiment. So I went there, and it was okay to be fearful. I just kept going, and I, I and I didn't. I messed up the lines. I forgot the lines, but somehow it kept going somehow. Yes. To do experiment with a fear. It was it took it not like a performance, but like a, a, a sharing your song together with your fear. That was my little experiment. Yay. Cool. Maybe yeah. I was just putting my mind or so, but something at least I did it, you know. Yeah, thank you for sharing that experiment. Yeah, it's, I when I used to play uh, I used to get really nervous. My my whole body will start shaking, and then like I'll start like my hand will start shaking like that, and and even like in a small group like like a, and then that was a, a thing for me for a long time. My leg would start like beating up like this, and and I couldn't stop. It. <laughs> and it was, uh, yeah. So it was a journey of like being with my fear because there was like a huge amount of fear from playing uh, for people and getting it wrong and messing up and. Uh, and I still have that fear, like there is something that doesn't go away from it, like, and I play with it. And uh, yeah, like I'm more with myself with, with that fear. <laughs> but again, like it's like about making to like about making a lot of mistakes. So for me, at least that's, that's been my journey. Uh, Amazing. Well, thank you. I'm really grateful that you guys came here today. I, I had a lot of fun and I got to test out this new uh, structure for the possibility team meeting for the first time. And I love it. It's feeding me so much. And thank you for, for being here and for doing your research, for showing up. Uh, I will be sharing the recording in, the, in our team. And yeah, I'll see you next week if you guys like to come next week. We'll be here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much, Jorge. It's a yes. pleasure to meet you and have 
some fun in this space together with you all. Yes. I'll see you guys in the other spaces. Yeah. All right. Have a great day. You too. All right. Bye. Bye.